Hey there everyone, this is Life. Welcome back to Pocket Playthrough of Adrian Odyssey 3. Today we're going to continue exploration of the 6th and 7th floor. First I wanted to get a few things out of the way, uh, hopefully get some people at ease about this, and create a few new characters that we will use later, but not right now, because I'm not ready to use them quite yet. I want to start experimenting with them about when we reach the third stratum and things become easier to do that, so. Let us go into the Explorers Guild and quickly get these newbies uh, registered up. Uh, Mina and Lyra have already been registered up. They're not new. You won't see me use them at all either. Not until a post game. If I know I can't do it any other way, I'll grab them because I know they're they're good at what they do. But disregarding those two, we're gonna make two new characters in here today. We're gonna make a Winona, who will be our wildling for the run. We're gonna see her starting usage in about the third stratum. And we're going to use Phoebe, which is spelled like this. We are Fist Monk, which will also be uh, recounted for later. Right now, I'm mostly waiting for uh, Gandra and Kiera to get Protect Order out of the way. Once that around that time happens, Phoebe will start entering the ring. And with that, we move on. We move on. That's all I'm really going to tell you about those two for right now. I just wanted to keep it brief and wanted you to know that I will be experimenting with new characters as we move on. Just these first two stratums, just the same. After that, we're gonna start really, we're gonna start really bending the team and making things, making new things happen. That's what I wanted to do. And we, could, of course, can always fall back on these old characters if the new characters don't end up working out. It's an experiment. We see what works. We see what doesn't. Now, with that out of the way, let's go pick up the Senatus. Oops, this isn't the Senatus. Yes. Turns out he had his carpenters missing. One of the modifications have just hit. I didn't think you could do this before. Okay, well, we'll just uh, quickly get this out of the way. As we disembark in Ariahaya. A soldier appears. Order the king asks him to ask if you a foreign merchant ship has arrived and now you had damage. It's undergoing repairs, but the shipwright is highly skilled with these prone to wandering off and is missing. That'll lead to give orders. The repairs will go slowly. We need a chief a shipwright found. He does like cheap cheese. He might be out somewhere getting a bite. If this foreigner's ship's repairs take too long, it may become a diplomatic issue. We need him. And he sends us off, so we know where he is, because we know where we got sheep cheese at the very beginning of the game. Let me go deal with that real quick. Let me just quickly search this island for anything. It's obviously empty. And... we go again. I think I'm gonna go ahead and step it up here. Just so we're able to reach out of Yohaya quickly, after we get the ship right. We come up here, we're gonna grab the ship right. It gets on. And now we need to move over to get to Ariahaya. And we're gonna go ahead and use these currents for a uh, swift boost. Embark, soldier approaches beginning snap to turn tone. Chris can now begin earnest. Thank you for your efforts. Please take this. He's gonna give us a coin, I think. Yes. And this coin is essentially as it says, it's worth 500 in tall. After hearing this, you board your ship and sailed up from out of your high. Yeah, and we leave. Yes. It sounds like there was going to be some sort of problem. Told him the orders for Zarian's ship, he got to work up right away. This should make your voyages even more comfortable. But if you're planning on passing through the street and you're already headed to the North Sea, you'll have to do something about those pirates who stuck the waters of their own. 
Chips gain an extra equipment slot. Now, you can't really use an extra equipment slot. I don't think there's really... Yeah, we can't really use the extra equipment slot right now. I'm not really bother anymore with the shipwright and the repairs of the vessel and all that. We're gonna do all that later. That was a total accident. Let's do what we actually wanted to. Information does shed some light on some recent occurrences. So we tell her about Olympia's incident. And she's going to be outraged and give a new mission. And yeah, and essentially you're now it's a witch hunt now, so everybody goes hunting hunts Olympia and that's that's story number one. She want to they want her for questioning. So that means this shortcut up here in A4 has been lifted. Before we do that though, actually I don't know if we're actually going to do anything productive today. Wouldn't that just suck? Um gonna grab the gonna grab this team. And we're gonna go grab the take spot items on the B6 floor. At least that's what I hope I'm going to do. Let's enter the stratum, save the game, and see if our farm team can make it. This might be rough. Amulets, or whatever they are, will allow us to run away from the enemies more easily, as we still do not have the safe stroll to keep us safe. We're gonna go grab some mine and take items, shall we? How much item space do we have? We have plenty. It's for both the mine and the take, so let's go grab them. Go through here. This mine point is rather easy to reach, and usually you won't run into a fight getting here. I'm gonna contain jet, fillite, and one more thing, if it will prompt the conditional text. There we go. And magnetite. More useful. We don't really want to be hanging out for magnetite for too long. So we're just gonna get it, do it once each, just to be very, very, very safe. You could probably get away with doing two each. But I just want it to be very, very, very safe. Now we have to deal with the high encounter rate on the way to the sixth floor, and hopefully we can survive the onslaught of coral. Flint dies. Nobody escapes. Well. Let's see if our luck holds down, shall we? We have the Arani threat to get out in case we actually do make it to this take point somehow. Let's see if the encounter rate will let us get to the take point without a hitch. Probably won't. I think it might have just did. Let's see if it did. Come on, come on, come on. Oh. Nope, we're dead. So what does that mean? It means to try again. We got Magnetite for free because of Keen Nose, that was great. And then we got a Dangerous Encounter and got another one. Same case here. Damn. Let it rain. Okay. Blind side is unfortunate. And got out without too much of a problem. Because Quentin and Whitney can be one shot anyway, whether they're at, they're at one or max HP doesn't make too much of a difference, other than who the AI targets first. Right, this time we should stand a much better chance of making it to the take point, because now everyone's gotten here alive. Okay, we still have to go through this one last fight. Let's see if we can get out. The blue starfish decided to let us live and not use his party attack, so we get out alive. Get this healing out of the way. And steal this take point of Alvarez and this is his green allergy. And we don't need that much, Narcus. 
Green algae's good. Green algae's the green algae's the thing you want from this take point. Grapes and the conditional or the yellow or the or the dangerous drop, if you will, is not as useful as this green algae. Um, you'll figure out why this green algae is so important in like ten seconds after I'm done gathering all the stuff here. All right, to mark it out. Now, this green algae is one of the most important items to know exist in the game because it gives you access to not these, these are just jars. Not these, these are just I other item materials. Guard souls are pretty meh. These 11 green algae are gonna give me access to Ambrita. Ambrita is the best item in the game, along with the Radney threads. And that I will heal your TP a little. We've gotten a few freebies just from doing regular stuff, but now we can have as many as we want, and that's just OP. So hang on a second as I check how many tents I have. Just one. And we have two Amritas, so let us stockpile a bit. And get two more Amritas. And two more tents. And that's gonna make me feel a lot better. How are we doing on a pack of bees? One there could be, let's get another one. One emergency nectar will be good, because we already have a nectar two to be our other emergency nectar. And we have the double erratic threads already, so we are done shopping here. This rest is up at the end. We kinda done did quite a few miscellaneous things right already. That would make this episode super short though. It would be more of a half episode than an actual one. Hmm. Should I, I don't know if I should even bother starting. I think I can do the rest of the 6th floor and get away with a good time, but uh, you know what? I know this episode was short and kind of a bunch of miscellaneous stuff, and there was no exploration going on. Apologies. But I think I'm going to end it off here. I'm going to see you guys next time. I'm sorry for the uh, shorty this time, but whatever. <laughs> hey everyone, this has been Life As always, I thank you for watching. Next time, we will actually start exploration of the 6th and 7th floor. I'm sorry if you were expecting that today. Nah, it doesn't matter too bad. See you guys then.